what's going on everybody welcome to new mexico i got done hunting all day in texas and drove up into new mexico and now i have an elk tag my elk hunt comes in on saturday which is today is tuesday night so i got three more or three and a half days to scout i'm gonna glass tonight it's only about three o'clock i'm hoping that i can find a good bull this morning i glassed and saw a, a five point a five by five it was a, I mean, it was an all right bull, but it was nothing special. Last year, I saw some really good bulls in here, and Caitlin had the tag in here last year, and she shot a really awesome bull, a six by seven, just a stud bull, an old, old bull too. So I'm hoping in three and a half days, and then over the five day season, I can find a really nice bull. I'm gonna glass from this side across over there, see if I can pick out a couple good bulls, hopefully, and then uh, be able to put them to bed and keep staying on them until the season opens. I'm going to check out some other areas too, so it should be a lot of fun. Should see some animals. And uh, fingers crossed, hopefully we can kill a nice bull. So stick around. It should be a fun, fun, fun hunt. So there's a couple of decent bulls. There's another bull around to the right that's not very big, like a raghorn or 4 four by 4 or something. And there's some hunters like a mile to the left over here. And then I just heard two shots. I don't know where they came from. But those two bulls there are, are pretty decent. I think they're both six points. That bull right there is pretty good. The one, there's another one to the right. And he's pretty good too, but he's not that big as big as that guy is. I don't think. That is a huge bull. I wish the video was better. Holy crap, that's big. Oh my gracious. That's that's one of the biggest bulls I've ever seen, I think. I wish the video was better. He's a long ways away, but that is an absolute monster bull. Like, giant. Holy smokes. Huge. If you watch my videos, you know I hunt a lot. And because I hunt a lot, I see a lot of animals. And I usually don't really get excited until after I put the animal on the ground. That's when I get jacked up. That bull over there has me almost shaking. That is one of the biggest bulls I have ever seen. And I've seen a lot of elk. I mean, he's big. I don't know how big he is. There's two bulls over there. They're both shooters, but one is significantly larger than the other one. I don't know if he's... I don't know. I don't like putting numbers on stuff because I don't want to sound like I'm lying. But when I was looking at him, I was like, that's a 350 bull. I mean, oh my gosh, he's big. I don't think he's broken. I mean, I'm looking at him from 2.6 miles away. And I can get in there and kill him. My season doesn't open till Saturday, but that's a roadless area. There's only one trail in there. And most people of this country, is just gnarly. Most people are not going in there. I would... I would bet nobody's going in there. That's why he's in there. But I, I really do everything I can not to exaggerate. You know, I'm not the guy that's like, you know, the fish was this big and, you know, saying he was this big. That is a big, big bull. That's in, That's got to be top three bulls I've ever seen. And I've seen, um, I've seen four six points today, two five points, and then one smaller bull maybe one five point and two smaller but it's been a heck of a good day seven bulls and 
probably three shooters, but one giant. Oh my gosh, he's big. I wish I could get better video than this. But he's a long ways away. Jeez, uh, he's so big. Well, that tree got destroyed pretty good. There they are. You can see the other one to the left up there. And originally when I started looking, I thought the bottom bull was the bigger bull, but now I'm looking at him. That top bull might be the bigger bull. He actually, in this video right here, looks like he might have double fourths. Maybe he's got seven on his left. I don't know. They're, they're big bulls and they're, the, they're in basically the same spot they were last night. Same spot they were this morning. Big bulls. Two biggest bulls I've seen there together. So they're definitely in that area. I, that spot I can kill them if they stay in the same if they stay in the same spot. I can get up on the ridge on this side of them, shoot across and be under a five hundred yard shot for sure. Maybe I should just start road hunting, you know? It's a 130 inch 4x4, four a four, couple little bucks, little 3x3 three three right there. Well, guys, it's Friday morning, season comes in tomorrow. I found a five by five over here and I just found this big bull over here. It might be one I saw a couple days ago in a different area, but it also might not be, it's hard to tell. This is a big bull though, but man, I saw two real big bulls over on the other side. I didn't see them last night. And that's the only thing that frustrates me a little bit is, uh, I mean, they were, one of them is a giant and it feels weird to say, I mean, I could kill this bull tomorrow morning. I feel pretty confident I could kill this bull tomorrow morning. But man, that other bull is so big. But I also don't want to seem greedy. So I got to kind of figure out what I'm going to do. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, I guess. That's a pretty nice bull. Another big bull, but this guy's broken on his back end. On his left side. It's making up for not seeing anything yesterday. Well guys, I'm hiking in. It's Friday night, season opens tomorrow morning. Been scouting since Tuesday. Um, last night was the first night since I found that biggest bull that I, I didn't see him. And that had me a little worried. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do. And then this morning I found that other big bull 
and it was right close to camp and area I hunted last year with my wife. And I mean, he's a dandy bull. You could tell he's old and he's pretty big. Um, but I'm going to go in after the big one. I, the, he's, he's big. And he had another bull with him that was big too. Um, but um, I just have to assume, I'm going to assume that they're still in there. And I was on the fence on what I was going to do, but I don't know when I'll get a chance to hunt a bull of this caliber again. I mean, maybe next year, but maybe it'll be 20 years. He's a stud. So I have five days in this season and I have to try to kill him. I, I almost feel bad not going after that other bull because he's such a great bull. You know, a really nice bull, but man, this bull, if he's what he, what I think he is, he's, he's kind of next level and there's no guarantee and I'll kill him. Heck, I might go in here and find another nice one and, and shoot him, but I'm going to try. I have to try. So, uh, it's about, I think about five o'clock. I got about two hours of daylight. I got a couple miles to cover on this trail. I've never been on this trail before, but hopefully it's in pretty good shape and, um, get in here, camp tonight, get up on glass and point tomorrow, see if I can find him. All I can do is try, right? All these yellow trees right here are aspens, and you can tell because of the way they are. I just found a deer skull, not a big buck by any means. Probably, I would guess, in the country I'm in, a cat kill. I saw a jaw right over there, and then I just found the skull here. So, pretty crazy. Old too, pretty darn old. What's up guys? It's open in the morning. It's about 6.30 a.m. I got another probably 20 minutes before I can see. I got another 70 feet to get to the top of the ridge here. I've already climbed about 400 feet, probably. And um, if I get one in here, I'm gonna earn it. I had to climb up through all this stuff, this locust. I don't know if you know what that is. If you don't, it's like these massive briars some of them are like three feet tall some of them are like eight feet tall with thorns from like a quarter inch to like three quarters of an inch long had to beat through them for the first i don't know probably first couple hundred feet so now i'm going to get up here on top of this ridge glass this side hill the last place i saw the bulls two days ago if they're not here i'm gonna come back down hike up the creek another mile mile and a half climb up on another ridge across the the valley Try to glass back across, see if I can find them. So that's the goal. We'll see what happens. I'm just sitting for a minute. I don't want to get to the top of the ridge before I can see. I want to get there right at light so I can peek over the top. And um, that way, if the wind swirls or anything, I'll, you know, I'll be in position where I can make a shot and don't give them a whole lot of warning or something. I think the wind's going to be okay, but you just never know what's going to happen in the mountains. So I'm going to sit here a little longer and then climb that final 70 feet or so and get up there on top and glass. I just glassed a bedded elk. I don't know how far he is. Probably seven, 800 yards. I'm gonna go around the point to the lower point, try to see what bull he is. I couldn't tell for sure. It looked like a pretty big bull. set up and just uh, wait for him to stand up. So here's my setup spotter here. The bull is right there. 
It's 293 yards. I'm just waiting for him to stand up. I can't shoot him in his bed because that tree's in the way and I just, I don't want to take a chance of moving and him, I don't know, something happening. Scouted for what Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, four days. Found the biggest bull I could, and I came in here and I killed him. Oh man, first shot I saw it hit him, and the second shot I put it a little far forward, hopefully hit him in the neck. Let's go! So here's the setup. The bull's right there. You see that kind of yellowish looking white spot across. So check it out, that's the big six by six. He must have been bedded somewhere where I couldn't see him. And there's my bull dead right above him. He's big too. Man, he's a heck of a nice bull. Alright, I'm gonna hike down there and look at mine. That's crazy. So my bull is right there. The other bull is right there. That just shows how much pressure that they don't have in here. I'm 190 yards. He hasn't even run. He's just feeding them. I have to scare him off. That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, those are, both, those are the two biggest bulls I've seen. They're both stud bulls. There's an antler. That other bull finally ran off when I was about 100 yards away. Of that thing. Oh wow, he's got an extra. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the size of this bull. Oh my gosh. Nothing broken. What a giant. Oh my gosh. Holy smokes. I didn't even see that extra right there. He's a seven by seven. Oh my gracious. Shot him from right up on those rocks right there. I think I was on that one. Actually, correction. I was on that one. What a bull. Well guys, here he is. What an absolute beast. He's a seven by seven. There's a big kicker right here I didn't see. Uh, huge bull. Everything I thought he was. Just an absolute giant. Crazy. Absolute giant.
snowing pretty hard. South Carolina. I, sh I shot this bull three or four weeks ago now and I never filmed an outro video. So I just want to talk about it real quick because I measured him since I got him off the mountain. Um, he was 374 inches or he is 374 inches and, and the reason he scored so big like I thought was so his main beams are just under 54 inches on both sides and everything is long. Um, his G5s his G5s on this side uh, is 16 inches. So he's super long every way. And a thing I didn't notice about him before I measured him is he's got almost 62 inches of mass, which is super big for a bull. Just to give some reference on how big he is. So this is Caitlin's bull from last year that if you've watched videos on my channel before, you've seen him. And uh, how big this bull is compared to that bull. This is a 324 bull. And that's my bull from two years ago. Uh, he's a 300 bull, so you can see just how, how big this bull is compared to, to the big bull Caitlin killed last year. So um, it's pretty cool, probably a once in a lifetime type thing. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure to check out my other videos. Um, hit the subscribe button so you can keep up with other stuff. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.